Okay, so it's ready to go, eh, Glenn? Oh, the cross hoggers. Probably got a little bit of ice in the bottom. I kicked it in and it's not turning, so I gotta get it broke loose before I can do anything with it. Good thing the shed's so close. Right in the craw. There's a cross auger in the bottom that takes everything that comes out the bottom underneath the rollers over to this other auger that uh, takes it up. And uh, you can put it in a truck or in a bin or whatever you want. That's how this one's set up. This is obviously a portable one. It's on wheels, but some people have these things fixed. Uh, you can run these on anything that's powerful enough to run them, like an electric motor or probably a gas motor if you could figure that out or this is just game equipped for PTO shaft and uh, the hydraulics run an orbit motor at the bottom of the the auger there that's the orbit motor that that uh, the hydraulics on the tractor run to take the grain up to the top and uh, there's a couple sets of leaf springs here that you can uh, tighten to adjust the tension on the rollers so how hard you're pushing on it and then there's a couple of little screws on the side here that we'll probably be adjusting a little bit after a while that will set uh, how far apart the rollers are apart so if you got skinnier grain you can set them a little closer together you don't want them touching but uh, you need them really close so yeah and i guess the other thing too is you can control the uh, control how much is going through there at a time with this thing you can see these little uh, black marks we got on here that's about where we set it so it just flows through a little bit at a time there and uh, I don't know the capacity here I'm just guessing maybe about 200 bushels an hour. I can't remember exactly how long it takes us to roll a, roll a load. It depends on, depends on, but anywhere between 150 and 200 bushels an hour is about what this thing will do once we get it going. coming out of the top. Uh, we've had two of these over the years. This is the second one, obviously. Uh, the first one had a gear drive to run the uh, elevator auger. And uh, it, it had trouble too. Uh, I, I don't really think that this orbit hydraulic motor is a is a vast improvement from my point of view it's just a pain uh, the gear one was a problem to if you had to change the bearings and stuff in it but it was uh, it was set it and forget it with this hydraulic orbit motor well you gotta fiddle around with your speed on the tractor and get everything just right and uh, a lot more expensive stuff to go wrong with it when, with the orbit motor and the hydraulics in your tractor getting to work out and everything too so Anyway, yeah, there's a little bit of ice in the bottom of this too. You can see the snow is coming in. First go around of the season. It'll do that to you if you get a, a really windy snowstorm anyways. But this is the first, first time we've had this go in the season, so this is normal. Yeah, 
still got some stuff to clean out of there. I slowed it right down. I can probably speed it up a little bit from there.